Hello everyone! So, uh, in my recent video I've done a comparison between the Sony kit lens and the Sigma 16mm f1.4 in video mode. But it wasn't quite accurate for the autofocus test because I was using a slow focus tracking when normally it is set to normal by default. Now, I've set mine to slow because I did not want the focus to change fast between subject so it would be more cinematic for me, for my shooting style. And I completely forgot about it. Uh, the test was fair because it was done with the same settings for both lens, but it wasn't accurate since most users will probably leave it at the default settings at normal. So now I'm gonna make a complete autofocus test with all the settings available hopefully to help you and me to see how they differ in tracking objects, which in this case I, I assume my face would be the best choice. So I will just stand in front of the camera, plan white background behind me and move in and out slightly to see how it will stay in focus. Then I will move out of frame and back in. That will be done with all the settings I've mentioned before. Basically, the higher you go for fast out-of-focus tracking and high focus duration, it would focus the fastest and be ideal for sport shootouts. So, tracking my face with all the movements shouldn't be a problem. That's in theory. We'll see about that later. It is really hard to cover all the situation we face while taking a video, so I will keep it simple and constant with the same environment and lighting, letting the camera track my face and see how it handles keeping on focus till I get to the slowest tracking settings. But of course the way the focus works can change during different scenarios uh, each and every one of us encounter outside or indoors while shooting, while taking a video. Uh, so the main purpose would, would be to see the difference if there is on those settings. I will not use Sigma 16mm this time, I will just use the kit, the kit lens to demonstrate the difference since this is the lens most people probably use and the difference between those lenses in uh, our focus speed is pretty much identical so it, will, it, it should fit most lenses people use. That being said Let's move on to the test.
so what I've learned is that setting the duration out of focus too high gets you better results tracking a moving object and staying in focus on it while it moves while the out of focus tracking speed determines the speed focus change from subject to subject so for example using high duration out of focus kept track on my face the entire time except for small breaks while using the slow out of focus tracking and using normal duration out of focus lost track of my face even while using fast out of focus tracking so keep that in mind so i hope it was helpful to you to understand how it works i'm still not sure what's the best settings for me it will probably depends on the scene but i suggest using high duration out of focus whenever there's a moving object in your frame so that's the end for this test thank you very much for watching see you I suggest